from work and guess what? I don't have to go back to uni until January. It's lunchtime, I'm home from work, which is great because it gives me more time to make, yeah, excuse my emo gloves, by the way, these um, are the only gloves I have that <laughs> make me look like uh, my Chemical Romance fan while also helping me to use my phone and not have cold hands. So, you know, let's just, let's forget you saw those. I'm still working my part-time hours at work just now, but it means that because I'm not at uni, I have more time to make recipes, make videos for you guys, just, and just chill. You know what I mean? I've had such a chaotic past three months between working and blogging and YouTube and university all at the same time. And, you know, remembering to breathe and sleep and eat. So yes, it's a bit of a relief to have some time to chill. Anyway, what have you missed? It was my birthday. So there's still a whole load of birthday cards on this windowsill. I am 23 years old now, which is fine. I was born to be old, so I'm cool with turning older. Anyway, let me show you some Christmassy stuff. Christmassy stuff. Christmassy stuff. Christmassy stuff. Christmassy stuff. Christmassy stuff. Christmassy stuff full with more Christmassy stuff. More Christmassy stuff. Christmassy stuff. Christmassy stuff. Christmassy stuff. So yeah, the flat is looking all festive. It's gonna be a bit of a busy month, to be honest. Um, so we've already been to the Edinburgh Christmas markets, which you might have seen a little bit of footage of. Didn't film a lot because it was really, really busy. Um, but it was good fun. We got some great food. We got a couple of kind of knickknacks. This week, I have another bloggers event at the body shop. We're also going up to Inverness to visit family, so I might get some footage up there for you guys. Yeah, there's kind of a lot going on. And of course, it's Christmas, so there's gonna be lots of Christmas blog stuff and YouTube stuff, and yeah, there's gonna be a lot going on, so I'll see you soon. <laughs> After the body shop event that I attended yesterday, the kind of private bloggers thing um, where we get to try out all the new stuff and we get some kind of goodies and stuff like that. So sh let me just, let me just show you my little haul. So they've got some amazing kind of Christmas scented things. So I've got this berry bonbon body butter stuff and it literally smells like sweets. It's amazing. Also in here we have my favorite shampoo. It smells like foam banana sweets. It's lovely. I just got some eyeliner. I got Sean some kind of skincare stuff just so you can try it out. We got this amazing little bag of like kind of new samples and stuff. So just little kind of one use things of like a new seaweed mask and other things like mint food. <laughs> so it's just like food cream or something like that. So yeah, we've got a whole kind of bag of those little samples and my favorite we got a personalized Christmas body butter and we could choose whatever scent we want. I chose this peppermint candy cane one. Girl, I honestly, like, I'm not super into mint as a smell sometimes. I think it can get kind of toothpastey, but honestly, this mint candy cane stuff literally smells like mint chocolate chip ice cream. I'm obsessed. So yeah, we're very happy. We had a good time. I got some drinks. Yeah, it was good. Um, sadly, I have to go to work today, um, but I'm also gonna be reviewing the new Krispy Kreme Christmas donuts, which I'm sure you will have seen by the time this vlog goes up. So yeah, see you soon.
I've just come back from work. I've just finished some lunch. So I thought I would do a little impromptu review of these Walker's Brussels sprouts crisps. So in here we also have a turkey and stuffing flavored crisp and pigs and blankets. But you know what? I feel like we've all tasted them by now. They're old news. Brussels sprout crisps. Now, I must say this is one of the weirdest bags of crisps I've ever seen because at the bottom it says, image of sprouts for illustrative purposes only. Product contains no Brussels sprout, contains flavoring only. Like, did it need to say that? I have no idea. Anyway, let me get this open and let's taste some. Smells like cabbage farts. We take these crisps out and they do have a slightly greenish tinge. Let's see what they taste like. They taste more along the lines of overcooked cabbage with onion. Yeah, no, it's a no for me. <laughs> Goodbye. So I have two very exciting things to show you today. The first is what I'm wearing. Yellow tartan trousers. The second exciting thing is on the back of the amazing response I've had to the Scottish Girl Tries Polish Chocolate Part 3 video, which I just kind of posted like, yeah, I might get some views, whatever. It's had something like 4,000 views by this point. Ridiculous, right? Absolutely ridiculous. On the back of that, I got an email from a lovely viewer in Poland and he said, you know, hey, I wanna send you some stuff. So that was a couple of weeks ago. Very kind of him, I thanked him loads for it. I thought that was so generous of him. Um, and look what has arrived today. An absolutely enormous box full of so much stuff. So we have biscuits, cookies, candies, chocolates, gingerbread, like just, oh my god, there's so much stuff in here. There's like layers upon layers of stuff. I'm so overwhelmed, like literally overwhelmed with this. I think it's so, so kind. So if you are watching, thank you so much for sending me this. So, so nice of you. And I think I'm easily gonna get a part four and a part five out of this because there's a lot of stuff in here. I just wanted to show you that because this is like one of the coolest Christmas presents ever and it's not even Christmas yet. 